Hello and a warm welcome to my channel Chronicles of Calf and Heifer Rearing. I am Dr. Ruth and here we will explore step-by-step -step tutorials on managing calves and heifers as a profitable investment in dairy farming. Calves and heifers are the future of every herd. Their health and strength directly determines tomorrow's milk production and farm profitability. Yet, various studies show that calf mortality being so high and most survivors show retardation or slow growth is eminent, leading to delays in puberty, delays in fast service, delays in fast calving, and possibly reduced milk production in future. That is why successful rearing is not just about feeding, it's about understanding Understanding the basics, creating the right environment, and following proper protocols to help calves reach growth targets. With the right approach and mindset, we can raise calves with well developed rumens, healthier udders, which will produce more milk in the year fast and future lactations, much better than heifers that were poorly raised. So, Let's begin this journey right from the calf's path and unlock every opportunity for a healthy, productive start. When the cow gives birth, her maternal instincts are triggered almost instantly. One of the first things she does is start licking her newborn calf. This behavior is more than just instinct. It is critical for the calf's survival. Licking stimulates breathing and blood circulation, helping the calf adjust to life outside the womb. It also encourages the calf to urinate and defecate, important steps that prepare its body to start feeding. Beyond these physical benefits, licking strengthens the maternal bond, the stimulation encourages the calf to stand, rotate the udder, and begin suckling. Soon after, as the cow continues to rig her calf, always provide the mother with a lot of drinking water and should be warm water. At calving, a cow loses nearly 60 liters of fluids through blood and uterine discharge. Rehydrating quickly helps prevent dehydration and supports recovery. Praying water is helpful, but rehydration supplement with electrolytes, glucose, vitamins, and minerals less store lost fluids and salt more effectively. Encouraging cows to drink immediately after calving not only replenishes fluids, but reduces the risk of displaced abomasum, since filling the lumen volume with water inflates it back to its size and location, which prevents abnormal shift of abomasum after the calf and the fluids are expelled. Naval disinfection is often ignored. The calf's navel is an open door where germs can enter and cause diseases. Dip the hole called in 7% iodine light after bath or pour it generously over the cord and repeat again after 12 to 24 hours. Iodine helps the navel dry and close quickly, protecting the calf. If you don't have iodine, you can use Dettol once. Ouch! It's a bit irritating, but next time, Get the iodine for the best results. In the process of bonding, the cow may lick her calf for several hours after birth, but the most critical stimulation occurs within the first few minutes to one hour, which helps the calf breathe and improve circulation. Before milking colostrum, it is essential to wash and clean the udder thoroughly. Hygiene at this stage is paramount. Colostrum is often called the liquid gold because it contains vital nutrients, growth factors, and immune factors. Most importantly, it is rich in immunoglobulins or antibodies, which are essential for establishing the calf's early immunity, which protects the calf from early diseases. 
If a cow is friendly, like this one, clean the udder and milk colostrum anywhere the cow may be because we need to feed 3 to 4 liters, at least the 10% of the calf's body weight as soon as possible within the first 1 to 2 hours after birth. It is advisable for every farm to have a clean, warm and well-bedded maternity pen with soft straw for calving. Concrete frost should be avoided to prevent injury to the calf when it tries to stand. Newborn calves are born without any circulating antibodies. And this is due to the complex structure of the ruminant placenta, which prevents the transfer of maternal antibodies to the calf before birth. As a result, calves are entirely dependent on colostrum intake for their initial disease protection. It is important to note the level of immunity and survival of the calf is determined by the amount of the immunoglobulins or antibodies absorbed in the first few hours of life. Here are four critical aspects of colostrum. One, quality. Ensure good quality colostrum. You can measure the quality of colostrum using a Blick's refractometer if possible or a colostrometer, both of which are very easy to use. Two, quantity. Feed three to four liters soon after birth. Three, time of delivery. Feed within one to two hours after birth and a total of six liters within 12 hours. Four, Hygiene. Ensure your hands and the equipment you're using are clean. Feeding with a calf bottle and laced head position mimic natural suckling, ensuring milk flows directly to the abomasum, which is the fourth stomach, avoiding the rumen and reducing the risk of aspiration into the lungs. Remember, a calf stimulated by the mother's licking is usually alert and eager to feed, which improves colostrum intake. Do not enlarge the nipple hole. The nipple is designed to match the natural size of the teat canal of the mother. Enlarging the hole combined with the calf suckling pressure significantly increases the risk of milk entering the lungs. This can lead to aspiration pneumonia, which is a serious health risk. It is recommended to weigh calves at birth and record their weight. Then be weighing them every week or every two weeks or monthly to monitor growth. A cattle weighing band is recommended, but in its absence, calves can be safely secured in a gunny sack and weighed using any available skill. <laughs> so no excuse. Growth reflects feeding. All its feeding reflects growth. Think about it. Calves fed adequately grow faster and stronger. Aim to provide a minimum of 6 liters of milk per day. Calves have capacity for more. They can take more than 6 liters and above. And this is not a loss. They will pay you when time comes. The calf continues with life in a warm and well-bedded calf pen. And the mother starts eating as if business as usual. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe, share, and like. See you in the next video.